So I want to see if we can welcome Deepak through the network. Hello, Deepak, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Can, I, can you hear me there? We can. And Deepak, we're not going to let this short matter of a few thousand miles come between us. Yes. I would like to give you the stage so you can tell us, um, so you, you've set up this company called Inos that has this yes. remarkable way to help hundreds of millions of people access the internet from their standard feature phone. So Deepak, the stage is yours. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Deepak and uh, today I'm talking you, with you from, from Chennai in, in, as David mentioned, I'm stuck up here, unfortunately, because of the visa issue. But still, thanks to Skype, I'm online right now and I'm able to talk to you. Now, my, I, I hope you guys can see my presentation there. Yes. yes. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you, if you want to know what I'm trying to do is that uh, I truly believe that there is an internet offline. And uh, the way that I'm trying to bridge this gap is through a simple Jugaad platform, which is what we call the SMS. If you go to the next slide, this is how the system works. People from around the world send an SMS with a particular thing that they want to know. And our system automatically find the answer and send them back. Now compared to Google, the biggest advantage for people on mobile and especially on SMS platform that we are currently implemented is that we provide the direct answers for people which saves them not only money but also time. If you go to the next slide. So this is how it all started. Me and my group of friends in 2008 were doing a computer science engineering in a small town college in Kerala. Having computer science background, we decided to create a simple platform to provide information over through SMS. Now, what happened in four years of my time is that it not only just changed my life, but millions of people using it around the world. I decided to drop out of college and pursue the service full time. Next slide. So I have to thank England for bringing cricket to India. Cricket is a religion in the country. Now, during the last Cricket World Cup, we partnered with Bharati Airtel to launch the service, commercializing the same by providing cricket services. Now, this is the growth hacking that we did. What we provided is a platform by which people can not only check the cricket scores, but also the commentary scorecard, the wickets and everything over by simply sending an SMS CRI. It all gets information immediately. Now, our traffic after that in the next three months jumped to a massive 100 million queries. And we suddenly realized that this is it. Next slide. Now, we, we went to talk to other operators who also got excited after the Airtel partnership. We crafted up a single uh, monthly plan, uh, which is a simple platform by which you can, you can access the whole technology, the all internet or the lightweight version of internet with a simple pricing of 30 rupees per month on a subscription, which comes less than $1 or 99 cents. Next slide. Now, within a course of two years, our service has scaled to a massive scale, which is over a billion SMS queries by the end of December 2012. As you can see on the graph, most of the queries come through, you know, regular text related queries, which are news, you know, obviously adult queries, sports, chat, education, food, whatever you name it, we have it. That is how we build the technology day by day. Next slide. We become the largest offline search by uh, officially recognized by Limca Book of Records, which is the Indian equivalent of the Guinness Book of Records. And if you go to the next slide, 
this is the scorecard of Inos right now. We become the Forbes top five companies to watch out for. We have scaled from India to the other parts of the of the world. We are live right now in seven countries, which work with uh, closely with twenty telecom operators. Served over one point three billion queries. Can you imagine it? Over one hundred and twenty million users have tried the service so far, and. Uh, we we right now focus on the developing nation and try to be the google for the developing world next slide please now this is an interesting slide as you can see in india there are more cell phones these days compared to even sanitary toilets now if you look at the worldwide mobile market out of 4 billion phones which we proudly boast Hardly 1 billion is the real smartphone world, whereas more than 3 billion phones are dumb phones. Why dumb? Because they don't have internet. Now, Inos work on a simple technology and a simple solution to the common people, providing internet at an affordable rate and converting the dumb phones to smartphones. That's it. Next slide. Now, when you look at the world mobile phone forecast in device types we have a good future ahead we see a you know good increase in number of smartphones compared to the feature phone adoptions which is brilliant and thanks to android thanks to google that we eventually have a platform which can power millions or billions of devices now this actually inspired us this helped us in focusing more on the Android part of the world. Next slide, please. We started to create an app store. We actually launched the world's first SMS app store to uh, around 13 months back. And the goal was pretty simple, to connect the unconnected one app at a time. Next slide, please. We partnered with companies, for example, Truecaller, to provide a simple service where you can trace the number and the locality. Now, this helps a lot of people, especially in countries like in India, where the woman, uh, uh, women's need to be safe. They can not only track the people using Truecaller service or while simply sending an SMS, but they can report it to the police. Next slide. We partnered with Twitter. Actually, this is one of my favorite. As you can see on the slide, Amida Bachchan, who is one of the biggest celebrities in India, got a greetings from one of the person who are who is not actually in Twitter. He simply used his phone by sending an SMS to wish him. And you know what? Amida Bachchan responded it to him. Uh, you know, and we responded him back immediately. And as simple as that. That's the power of SMS. Next. We partnered with different companies, including the recent partnership with Evernote, where we, we created a simple app where you can store your longitude and latitude details. Now you can find all the informations nearby, like restaurants, tourist place, transport, route, from distance from one place to another. Now here is the main thing. Over through SMS, now you can save all this information to the, your Evernote account by simply sending an SMS. And bingo, you get the information whenever you need later. Next slide. We worked with companies like Google Org, which provided the person finder. This was quite effective in the recent hazards happened in India. We provided a simple app called Find Victim where you can simply send an SMS to find the information about a person, whether he is alive or not. Next slide, please. The world of SMS apps. We have our own developer portal located at the Smart SMS technology. Uh, and uh, we have more than 10,000 applications which are built by developers around the world. Next slide. Now, this is an interesting case. The, the picture showing on the left side is Ashok, my own cook. Now, the developer, his name is Ashish from Boston, created a simple app which is called Learn English. 
all you have to do is to simply type in the uh, the particular word in your local language and convert it to english by simply send an sms now this has created a huge impact in in the in terms of shaping up the m learning system in india next slide Vodafone come to us to partner with a company called Indian Blood Donors. We created a simple app called Blood, which can let you connect people not just to find information but also save lives in need. Next slide. Now the interesting thing about how the developer system is created and matured is pretty simple. We do hackathons. by which were we want to showcase the power of developers around the world as you can see this is a recent hackathon that we did with girl effect now in a country like india where cricket and bollywood or the music or movie industry is treated as the celebrity part we truly believe that there are a lot of technology startups there are a lot of technology developers in the country and we wanted to give them a platform to showcase and that is where inos do the hackathons including the recent one with the girl effect which created 40 different apps which were created by girls who are adolescent and you know not the mark zuckerberg wannabes next slide now during the girl hackathon that we did one of the interesting app was created a simple thing which is an sos or an emergency sms where you can alert a particular person that you want using using your location and they will contact the police to find the information about you later now we talked with people like asha jadeja who is one of my main vendor and a company called gridbots who is who are co creating a band called reksha band which use the technology as sms in the back end to provide this alert now this is interesting this is the world of sms of things what i am showcasing you now next slide now around last year we decided to create our own unique platform which is what we we termed as the operating system these days and uh, focus on the mobile market which are dumb phones specifically now we don't want to be uh, another internet company or compete even with android or any other operating systems around the world we just want to provide a solution for all of us to provide or bring the internet to the people who don't have access to it next slide please the project is called think brownie and uh, if you go to the website thinkbrownie.com you can see or download the app which is available on the android app store if you go to the next slide this is how the app which is look like now the interesting part is that all these apps will not only work with a unique user interface on the back end it can simultaneously switch between sms and the internet mode next slide now if there is internet connectivity all this apps inside the the brownie uh, project can be browsed through internet and if there is no internet it will automatically switch to the sms mode by which the phone that has the brownie operating system or even the brownie browser will help you get access to internet all the time so if you go to the next slide it will clearly show you how the currency converter app look like inside the inside the brownie app can you see that can you see that yes okay great great if you go to the next slide this is how the routing over the platform look like or the maps as you see <laughs> if you go to the next slide imagine the world of amazon offline that is actually <laughs> what i was trying to showcase you with a simple ebook app <laughs> if you go to the next slide that is also interesting you have a connect with the brownie app to the app store where you can simply download 10000 or more than that applications to the directly to the main menu 
Next slide show you how I downloaded an eBay app. Next slide. I, I hope you are seeing the Lord, Lord basic internet view or the text mode yes. slide. So, so the basic uh, idea or the inspiration came from the Gmail uh, HTML version, we, which we all have tried at least once. Now, there has to be a text mode for the internet browsing experience. This not only save us a lot of time in browsing, but also help for the people who don't actually have the internet right now. So, Inos works on a simple goal of connecting this neat gap which is visible at this point, which is the main hurdle for us to bring the people online. Next slide. Are you, uh, are you on, the, on the screenshot of wired.com? Yes. Okay, perfect. So this is, a, uh, this is a demo of how the SMS browser interface look like. As you can see, you can actually download the browser from the Android App Store immediately to see it live. Uh, as you can see, uh, wired.com can be browsed on a simple plain internet version on text, which can be accessed by simple technologies like SMS, which is what I showcased here. Now, if you go to the last slide, where I am saying, asking about why I'm all doing this, because in, Inos truly believes in the power of internet. I actually think the internet can't... Google Ads. This was reported in BBC, I think. Now, Google has released a touching video of the boy's journey back home. As you can see, it was impossible for me to talk to you unless there was Skype. Now, this is what inspires me, and this is what motivates all of us. Since mobile phones has already become an important thing in our daily life, and SMS is one such thing that comes useful and affordable all around the world. At the bottom of heart, it is the joy of connecting the unconnected with technology what defines INOS. INOS truly work for the day when internet will be available for everyone and look forward in interacting with everyone at the conference for bringing the next billion online. You can write to me at deepakaitainos.in for more information on anything. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deepak. And um, if you can't see the applause here, we're going to take screenshots and we're going to SMS them over to you. Yes, sure. You can do that. Just one, one very quick question. Yes. Um, so this is not a building full of people answering these queries. This is artificial intelligence. Yes. If the people here who are not in India want to access your system, in India you've got a short text code 55. 444. Four, four. Is there a way for people outside India to access yes. your database? Yes. In fact, today I'm, I'm actually talking to a UK company to partner it immediately and launch it. And maybe Telefonica can help us in setup very soon. <laughs> Otherwise, you can, you, can, you can download the Brownie app, which can also give you a feel on how the system works. And Brownie is the future for Rhinos, and that's what we look like in the near days ahead. Thank you very much, Deepak. Thank you so much for the invite.